Hello everyone, this is a short tutorial on how to calculate generalized stacking fault energy. So for demonstration purposes, I have used BCC structure. The BCC structure which I have opted is the tantalum structure with two atoms per cubic unit cell. You can take the op already optimized geometry from material repository or you can create your own cell and optimize with different DFT codes. So in my case, I have optimized this structure with WASP. So after optimizing or optimizing the structure, including the cell shape, volume, and the atomic position, you, you will get the optimized lattice parameter. After obtaining this bulk structure, you can go to surface cleave. In my case, I have used VNL quantum wise software for creating the surfaces. So we know that in the BCC structure, the gliding the slip plane is all along the 110 because it's the highest density plane along which it can slide unlike fcc structure where the gliding is along 111 plane so you can go and choose the miller indices 110 and it will create the 110 plane and cleave the surfaces and along and parallel to it so press next so you can take the lattice vector according to your need if you want a big supercell or small unit cell so in my case i will go for two by two in order to maintain the orthogonality of the unit cell so after creating this one you will see that you have two layers so you can go and choose the slab and remember you have to you need to create the surfaces because and you need to relax the atomic position only not the lattice parameter because with wasp it will shrink the volume this is what we don't need that so now you can go and create the thicknesses thicknesses mean the number of layers over here so for optimal condition it is best to choose 6 to 10 layers, but you have to do the convergence test also. So I will go for 8 uh, layers. So with vacuum above this lab and below. So you can see there are two surfaces. So for generalized second fault energy, we will see that we have to displace part of this lab. In this case, this one is the slab. I will displace along the b direction so remember that in our view xyz is the cartesian coordinate system which is newtonian space fixed space but crystal orientation is different than the cartesian space this crystal orientation can be rotated to specified direction in the cartesian space for simplicity we will go for the Cartesian space that the 111 plane is aligned along the CC direction and we will displace our part of the upper part of this lab in the B direction so you can close this window and it will create the slab so you can see C is the crystal lattice vector which is aligned along the Cartesian space in the Z direction however you can orient this uh, slab but we will go for now for simplicity which is easy to understand so after creating this one you can save you can save this file postcar 110safe so now after you have created this file so you can see you can visualize this file on Vesta. So now, after having this one, you can start creating generalized stacking fold, fold in the upper part of the plane. So, so the, the displacement should be 
according to the according to the problem so for bcc structure we know that the berger vector on the 110 plane the displacement is along the 111 direction so for orthogonality condition we have chosen this direction because the dot product should be zero so however regardless of that it's a square root we will take the magnitude of b so so as i said so we are going to displace along this b direction over here so then it will calculate the berger vector as over here and then you can go and create the file so i will create the file so i have created 10 files so for this demonstration purposes i have displaced the five layers it shouldn't be this case it should be half half it should be equal and the number of layers should be more but in optimizing you can freeze the lower part of the slab also so you can see each vector is displaced along the b direction so after displacing this file you can go and create now you have the postcard file you have the k point in car and port car file for tantalum you can go and create each folder and submit this calculation to wasp coordinates thank you so much